Welcome to Tiger Bridge. In this video, we'll demonstrate using Tiger Bridge for extended NAS capabilities with the cloud. In this scenario, your NAS gets replication, which makes your NAS more redundant and backed up, versioning, which makes your NAS more functional and safe, extension capability, which makes your NAS bigger, and migration capability which makes your NAS disposable when no longer needed. In a typical enterprise environment utilizing a NAS, we have a bunch of clients, and each client connects to the NAS to exchange information with it. The data flow is normal. When we introduce TigerBridge to the picture, it serves the role of a temporary location, or cache, for some files while they're in transit to and from the cloud. The clients which are already connected to the NAS can continue with their normal process flow. For the purposes of this demo, we've prepared two machines besides the NAS. One that represents one of the clients from the previous animation and has a green background, and another one that runs Tiger Bridge and has a blue background. On the client, we have a mapped Z drive that connects it to the NAS in this environment. Within the NAS, we have a bunch of files and folders. On the other machine, we will set up Tiger Bridge and configure it to work with NAS as a source. We need to specify the shared path to the NAS, along with credentials and a local folder. This is the folder that will be used as a temporary storage by Tiger Bridge. When we fill in all the details, we can click Apply and then specify the target on the cloud. When we're done providing these details as well, we can resume the work of Tiger Bridge. As soon as we do that, we can see that some information starts getting transferred to the cloud. This procedure works with any NAS. Some files are already replicated to the cloud. During this copy process, the clients could continue with their normal duties. They could create files on the NAS in one of the folders, for example, and do some normal editing tasks. TigerBridge monitors the NAS, and the file goes to the TigerBridge temporary storage immediately and gets in the queue of files to get replicated to the cloud. If we right-click to see the properties of the gate folder, the size on disk is zero. No local space is currently occupied. The files are not being copied to this machine right now. They're getting copied to the cloud directly. This could be a lengthy process, especially for a bigger NAS. If we browse the contents of the folder, we can see that the structure is a replica of the files and folders on the NAS. We can see that the file we just created is here as well. Now that all the data from the NAS is replicated to the cloud, the NAS is redundant and we have additional protection. We can download our files from there as well, if needed. Next, we can see how this setup could be used for other daily problems like cryptovirus attacks. Even if the NAS doesn't support version and capabilities, we're adding that as a functionality with Tiger Bridge. We will edit this file to simulate its encryption. On the client's machine, the file's properties look normal. There is nothing additional there. However, an administrator of the machine where Tiger Bridge is installed can see the versions of the files if versioning is enabled and can restore to desired versions as needed. Tiger Bridge is adding this very valuable functionality and air-gapped protection to the existing NAS. The gate folder still occupies no space on the local disk. After the file is restored to its previous version, we can see the original, not encrypted content. When the NAS is fully backed up by the infinite cloud, we can also take advantage of the extension use case of Tiger Bridge. We can remove some files from the NAS by using the Reclaim Space Tiger Bridge option, and offline or nearline files are left for your information while the data still resides in the cloud where it remains protected. An administrator of the machine where Bridge is installed can easily recover these nearline files if needed. Furthermore, Tiger Bridge offers an additional and optional agent that could be installed on the client machine. That agent, when set up, allows for the user of the client machine to recover nearline files themselves. 
We have set up this client to connect to the same share, but over its IP address so we can show the difference when we access it through the agent. When we browse to the share this way, we can see the familiar bridge icons on same files we've been using so far. And if we right-click the offline file, we see the option to retrieve it. Once it is retrieved, we can use it the same way we were able to use it before. On the folder level, we have the chance to replicate, reclaim, retrieve all data in the folder or use the undelete option, which helps in situations where we have permanently deleted files by mistake, for example. When we decide the NAS is no longer needed or when something happens to the NAS, the client could be rerouted to the gate easily. All the data will be in the cloud. We could even take advantage of any cloud archive tier, which essentially means cost optimization, multi-site sync, and disaster recovery with dynamic rehydration. This concludes the demo of showing how TigerBridge can help you extend the capabilities of your existing NAS while utilizing the cloud. For more information, please visit our website. Thank you for viewing.